I gotta be honest, you guys are well aware that I don't really chase times tone on my channel. Part of the reason is just the inconvenience of having to lug around like an amp pad, a 412 cabinet, the cost of all those things, and just how hard they are to find sometimes, like all of Dime's old gear. I've had the opportunity to test a bunch of different Dimeback amp sims, like Amplitube's Dimebag collection. Something about that Amplitube tone is just so lacking to me in the game department. It just doesn't have that same bite that Dime's tone has. It's kind of like Marcellus Wallace trying to yell while he's got a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> So I got to researching this vulgar pedal after Tim from Master Effects reached out asking if I wanted to try it. Come to find out, it's basically the Randall RG100 preamp shrunken down into a pedal. It's got all the identical circuitry from the Randall RG100 and it's been adapted to work with modern components. And the result is this. So these pedals are meant to work with Randall Jaguar speakers, and Tim from Master Effects actually hadn't done any testing with impulse responses when I got to talking with him about it. I actually put this thing through every single impulse response that I had, and it just didn't sound quite right. So then I actually remembered a while back that Ola England put out an impulse response from his Randall cab with his Randall Jaguar speakers built in. I decided to buy that impulse response to give it a shot, and lo and behold, that was the missing link that gave this thing that exact dime sound that I was looking for. So you can definitely raw dog the vulgar pedal straight into your audio interface and get that dime sound, but Master Effects also makes this Furman PQ4 clone pedal that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> familiar with the Furman PQ4, that's the parametric equalizer that was pretty responsible for Dime's unique tone going from the early to mid 90s. It definitely gives you a good ability to boost and cut whatever frequencies you want while maintaining that overall tone that you get out of the vulgar preamp pedal. <laughs> So on the board, I'm actually using a Behringer 7 band EQ to kind of boost some of the treble frequencies, but also give me a sort of a volume boost. This is to try to compensate for the gain losses and using my Stamer Duncan JV over using something like a Bill Lawrence pickup with more gain. You might have noticed that I have a little bit of tape over the LEDs, and that's just because they sort of blinded the cameras a little bit. But Tim from Master Effects actually took my feedback and he said he was going to lower the brightness in the future from now on, so you won't have to worry about that. I hear these guys sound even better through an actual Jaguar loaded 412 cab, but just in my testing alone, using Ola's dimed impulse response, it sounds pretty solid in my headphones. Which to me is better in a way because I'd rather just be able to plug in directly and get that perfect sound every time through headphones and recording, rather than having to mic an amp and deal with all the problems that come with using mics. On the tuba. It's one of my favorite instruments. Listen to that. My favorite thing by far about the pedal is just how it responds to the wah.
All I'm using is just a Crybaby GCB95 too. It's pretty standard as far as wads go. Perhaps the best thing about these pedals is the price. The Randall RG100 heads can go anywhere between $600 to $1,000, just depending on condition and, and the decade that it was manufactured. But the Vulgar preamp pedal, brand new, is only $199. And Furman PQ4s are about the same range in price as the RG100 heads. Yet the PQ4 clone pedal only goes for $469. On top of that, Ola England's Dimed Impulse Response is only six bucks, and that'll get you going for pretty minimal cost. And as always, if you're interested in checking out anything that I covered today, links are in the description below. Is this why